Peter Obi, over 2,000 people dumped PDP, APC, and others for Labour Party in Southern Boronu. Wow, this is another big boost for Peter Obi. This is a serious one. Over 2,000 people have dumped other political parties, including PDP and APC, and migrated to Labour Party in Southern Boronu. Ah, this, this must, that means that state is becoming a Labour Party state as well. Okay, because this family, these people have suffered in the hand of terrorists and the government, APC government, has not been able to help them, couldn't help them. Shambisa Forest held down by terrorists for almost 10 years and they couldn't do anything about it. Quite unfortunate. Okay, Boronu State actually was the first state that Boko Haram captured before they started capturing neighboring states. It's very, very bad. And it's still under the nose of this same Shetima that wants to be vice president of Nigeria, uh, 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 running mate of, uh, of uh, 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 what is his name, Tinubu. Yeah. So now people are, their eyes are opening that this APC government is actually a terrorist government because it's a government that cannot fight terrorists must have hand in the terrorism. So 2,000 people are recorded to have migrated. This is serious. So no fewer than 2,000 party men and women have dumped their various parties and joined Peter Obi's Labour Party in Central and Southern Boronu. The defectors from various political parties, including the People Democratic Party, PDP, All Progressive Congress, APC, the Zenith Labour Party, ZLP, and others, convened in Bill local government area to denounce their parties and to embrace the obedient movement. Most of the defectors are from southern Boronu towns and local governments, including Askira Uba, Goza, Chibok, Damboa, Hawul, Kawakwawa, Kwaya, and Shani. Can you imagine? They declared for the Labour Party and also showed passion to join the party ESCO at a town hall meeting tagged Bill Summit organized by Isaac Balami a Labour Party chieftain and National Deputy Campaign Manager will be that campaign council. Addressing the defectors and party faithful, Balami, who was welcomed by thousands of supporters of the party to his BU hometown, accepted the party men and women into the Labour Party, charging them to go all out to ensure victory for Peter Obi. Some of the defectors told reporters that they were fed up with the government of the PDP and APC and are willing to try another party that will affect their lives and those of their children. This is a very good development. Perfect. They also rejected in totality the APC and PDP ways of buying their vote with cubes of maggi and salt. Can you imagine? Peter Obi, Bolatinubu of the ruling... Uh, okay, Bolatinubu of the ruling uh, APC and Atika Abubakar of the PDP are the top contenders in the elections. Okay, so what I say here is that Peter Obi, Bolatinubu of APC, and Atiku of PDP are the top contenders in the elections, and that is true. Although Atiku has continued to boast that he will sweep a majority of the votes in the north, analysis shows the three top candidates will put up an intense fight in the region. That is true. So it's not going to be a free fall and then a free lose for another. It's going to be a, a, a very serious contention on the on the ballot. Okay? And like their vote is practically going to be divided equally and with a very tight margin of winning for whoever that will win. And that's a very good one for the first time that people, especially people from the north, are refusing inducement. Because inducement is actually what has put us where we are. Inducement is actually what has given these politicians the edge to do what they're doing in power till now. So, so now, over 2,000 men and women from Central and Southern Kaduna have dumped, Labour, have dumped uh, uh, APC, PDP, and Zenith Labour Party and other parties to join APC, sorry, to join Labour Party and Peter Obi to make Nigeria a better country once and for all, and for their children. They are tired and fed up of uh, uh, PDP and APC. 
And look at what they said here. They are also tired of selling their wood with just a, a packet of or a, 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 some cubes of maggi and salt. Okay? They can't continue to sell their wood uh, with cubes of maggi and salt. Does that make sense? That's abuse of, of, of human nature. Mm-hmm. Wow. So this is a very good one for, for Peter B. He just This one is a very good plus for the Labour Party out there in the north. Okay. So let's see a few comments here. What some people are saying. Somebody has said that before this weekend, Labour Party will have new members from other parties. Still more are coming before Sunday. And that is true. Yes, so I am from Borno South. We are fed up with all lies from other parties. Obedient up we go. Wow. This is a very good one. Somebody say, God bless you, my good brothers, for knowing the truth, the truth, and the truth you know will definitely set you and your state free. Hmm. Somebody say PDAPC is our collective enemies. <laughs> that is PDP and APC. Representing the old order of stealing. Okay, good development. Can I imagine? That's a very good one. Ah, man. So, this is a very good one from Borono State. And uh, people are happy to be part of that. Somebody said, that is what I have been expecting. Let us put sentiment of religion, ethnicity apart. And through a WPDP and APC that have been deceiving us for years, we should shine our eyes and vote these young men Obidati to lead us to promised land. All these old people have nothing to offer Nigerians. That is true. Promised land indeed. End of the road to all old criminals. Welcome to a new Nigeria. God will definitely show Nigeria mercy for allowing Peter B to have his ways. That is very good. That is very, very good. So Nigeria is on the way to, you know, to his promised land. Our God is alive and has heard the cry of the oppressed. You have we- you are welcome. You made a good and wise decision. More grace to all of you. Amen. Will be so that is what is happening now. Uh, another person is coming here to say that Obi will not even get one percent voting for Anu. They are dreaming. Not really. That is propaganda. Okay, that is propaganda. Those pictures we saw there are not fake pictures. Those are people seated and already uh, made up their mind. To dump PDP and APC and other parties and then move on to the Labour Party. Okay, so and that's a very good development happening in the North. Some Northerners are saying that true that OB is going to get a lot of vote from the North. It's not going to be uh, free for one Northerner as usual because the Muslim Muslim ticket, people don't like it. APC administration for eight years has been worthless and useless. PDP also is a corporate because the same old order of politicians migrating from one party to another are the same people. When PDP was reigning, they were in PDP, and then when PDP was losing in 2015, they all migrated to APC, and after eight years, APC is wrecking, they want to migrate back to other PDP or other parties again. And at this point, this is why the Labour Party also need to be very careful, because most of these miscreants, political miscreants, okay, we move from PDP and APC to Labour Party, also looking for new grounds where they will pitch their tent and continue their nefarious activities in politics. Uh, so, Labour Party really need to be very careful who they accept, how they accept, which role they give which people, which person, okay, or what role they give which person before they will also mess up Labour Party. That is the truth. So, thank you for listening. This is a welcome development in Baranus state where over 2,000 men and women have decamped from PDP APC and then moved on to Labour Party to work with uh, Labour Party. Thank you for listening and let's have your comment.